been busy, you guys. I've been busy. Look. Hello, 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 and welcome back. I am back today. Today, the 28th, I think, 29th. I am Monique. Thank you for joining me today. I am just dropping in to share with you guys what's been going on here in this household, in this crazy pandemic coronavirus world that we're living in right now. So I've been trying to make the best of it. Uh, like I've said previously, not too much has really changed for me aside from homeschool and the kids of April. It's been quite a roller coaster. So we are here dealing with Corona, okay? <laughs> and um, just making the best of it. You still gotta live life, right? You still gotta live life. Pray for those, all of you guys who might be dealing with a hardship or a family member that you lost. Um, recently, a month and a half ago, I lost a relative, not to coronavirus, but to uh, something else. And I understand about loss and I'm sorry for anyone that's dealing with a heavy heart due to this virus because it is immensely horrible. This is just horrible. And um, I'm praying. I wake up sometimes two, three o'clock in the morning and I just pray for people because I know that this is definitely a heavy thing, very um, serious matter that we're all dealing with right now with jobs, with health, with loved ones, all of it, right? So what I wanted to show you guys today is uh, the garden. Let's just jump into it. I've been doing little clippets here, little clippets there of the garden, just trying to um, give you guys really a feel of what we're doing here. I decided to start this garden, I'd say about mm, two months ago. Two months ago, I'll say I started the beginning of January, no, the end of January, beginning of February. And I did that because something down in my shenanana just told me <laughs> to start a garden didn't know anything about this whole corona thing getting over here or maybe i even started it before then then maybe it was back early january then when i bought my first orange tree i would have to look back in my videos and see when i if i posted that video i don't know if i posted it but um we'll have to see but i started a garden i started with just a few plants i started watching some youtubers that i really really enjoyed uh lead farmer 73 is one of them uh, there's a couple more i have to put them in the post below but i started learning how to garden from watching other people do it now i am scared terrified i don't want to claim it i don't want to claim that i'm terrified but i'll just say this i do not like snakes i do not like bugs i don't like anything crawling and uh anyone who knows me know i'm just not a bug person and i'm definitely never have been never probably will be a snake person okay now, that was the reason why I never liked gardening, right? Well, I thought I'd try to overcome some of those fears. Not all of them. I'm still not willing to run into a snake. Um, gardening might be over if that happens, to be honest. But I'm going to do the best I can with the ability God has given me and push forward. So um, if you hear a noise in the background, remember, kids are home right now. So I've got three little ones. Well, they're not so little. I got a three-year-old, a seven-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a 20-year-old, all girls. And they don't care that I'm filming. We'll just say that. So <laughs> I'm doing the best I can with what I got, okay? So I'm going to take you guys out here real quick, show you guys my little garden boots. Since I'm officially a gardener now, I bought some garden boots that I keep right here at the back door. I bought them from the tractor supply store, see them? Okay, so we gonna slip those on. Put my big old size nine feet in them. Yes, I am a size nine. The women in our family, we got big feet, most of us. Not all of us, some of us got cute little dainty pretty feet, but for most of us, we do not. So it's hot outside. I don't know how we're gonna answer Alexa. Alexa, how hot is it outside today? Today, it's set to high to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. You hear that? It's 90, dang near 92 degrees. And we are in April. You see? Okay, we're gonna go out here, we're gonna see. All right, here we go. Let's go. So I got my garden boots on. Wanna see them again? My garden boots. I'm so proud of them. That's my first pair of garden boots, you guys. I'm so proud of them. 
Good afternoon. I'm back. All right. As you can see, again, this is the backyard. We still got some work to do over there. But let's check out our itty bitty garden. Here we go. We've got an avocado tree. We did put um, all these poles on there to hold on the bird netting because I haven't um, planted anything in this bed as of yet. And I probably won't for another two or three weeks, but it, here's the newbie. And it is an Einsmere apple, heavy bearing, very low chill. Let's see, Let's, let me focus. There's already a few popping up here. You see those? You see them? Aren't those the cutest those are little apples just in case you've never seen in case you've never seen apples before on an apple tree which is not too far-fetched for some those little itty bitties those are the beginning apples up here it looks like this and what it is is that this is where they all first start off as um flowers and then some will flower there's male flowers and female flowers the female flowers have this little bulk under it. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'll zoom out actually. The female flowers, I can't talk today you guys. The female flowers have like a little um, a little bulk underneath it. It's hard to see because the sun's not doing what it's supposed to. But anyhow, there's male and female flowers. Like this is a female flower right here. As you can see, the flower was at the top. It was pollinated. The leaves fell off and now this part is going to grow. An apple so they're all over this tree um, I think I picked a pretty good one I got it from Lowe's for $39.99 here we have some carrots that are starting to sprout up you see that right there barely starting to come through I started these from seeds so same thing here with the, with the um, potatoes this is a potato bin. Over here we have the most wonderful watermelon okay that's coming up that one i bought the other ones i planted those are all from seed as well We've got an orange tree there Let's see what else we got over here i'll show you guys a little bit then i'm going in tomato plant down here that's a tomato plant i've got some cucumber back there i'm hoping that it survives i might have to cover it because it's kind of burning up a little bit but it looks like it's still trying to do something it might be too bright out here for it but we'll see how it how it fares we've got squash we've got cucumber we've got zucchini there's a tomato plant there some peppermint peppermint's good to have in your garden um, to help keep keep away certain little pests um, there is some there we got some bell peppers on our little plant y'all you see that Got some baby ones up there. There's two on this side. You see them? And then there's some more little baby ones up to here. Now the leaves on here are kind of withering. You see how they like? I don't know why that is. This one's not doing this one. That. Um, I'm so confused. I don't understand. It's growing very well, as you can see. The peppers are growing well. Look at those. There's also a dead lizard down here in my net. Poor thing. I'm not getting him out of there. He shouldn't have got himself in there. My husband's going to have to do that. Anyhow, there's some peppers here. You see the lizard? He's dead. There's nothing I can do to help him. It's too late. Um, peppers on this plant. Those are bell peppers. Red onion over there. Behind there. Some red onion. Here's the other apple tree. Okay, we've got a peach tree right there. Another bell, um, tomato plant. Got some cucumber back there. Some cilantro. More tomatoes. I love tomatoes because you can do so much with them. That is some um, chocolate mint. Got some strawberries way up there in the back. And that white bin there with the strawberries. 
That is some basil, lettuce. Here we've got some collard greens. Gotta have collard greens. Um, apricot tree. Okay. This one does have a tomato on it. Let me see if I can let you see it. You see that one? Big old tomato there. Mm -hmm. It's a nice size. It's just one though. So I'm waiting for that tree to do something extra. Okay. Mint, bell pepper. We've got some zucchini back there. We've got some zucchini back there. Um, some um, black eyed peas, okay, some squash, squash on there, we got some cucumber in the back, mm -hmm. parsley, I believe it's parsley, I can't remember, okay. um, this one had burned up a little bit as you can see. See it kind of burned up, but it's starting to do better now. And you know, they're kind of growing real fast now. At first, they were kind of teeter tottering and alone, but now they're really doing well. As you can see, I have this net. I can lift it. As you can see, I can lift it. And get a better view of everything. Okay. But um, all is going well. That one's like free plants, which is why it looks like that. Okay. This is going to be um, repotted. We drilled some holes in there because we're going to use this one to repot this little cute apple tree here. See? I started some more. So we've got some more bell pepper right here. We've got some more cucumbers. The cucumbers are the ones that burnt up the most. So we've got some more cucumbers. Over here we started some broccoli. Okay. We've got, what are these? I forgot. What did I write on this? I can't remember, Laura. I think that's cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, I believe. And corn. I'm still, I, I, I germinated the corn. Not sure if I'm gonna find it. Oh, and these are, are um, po beans, like peas. But they're actually the pole beans are different. These are peas, pea, pea beans. So I'm excited about that. I always thought the way that um, peas look was really cool. Remember our green onion? Look at that. Look what it's doing. Okay. Well, that's it, you guys. That is the little garden. I want to thank you all for coming by, stopping by and seeing my little garden and the progress that it's made. It's only been two months. It's only been two months, but so much has happened in two months. So many new things, so many new ideas. We've gotten the whole family involved in this, and this has turned out to be a really great experience for not just me, but the whole family. So continue to watch and see what's going on here and i'm glad you stopped by please remember to comment rate and subscribe and i will see you next time have a great day have a great week enjoy your life be the best you and i'll see you next time Bye.